This is the worst freeway ever. All right, welcome back, people. This is Ozza Rides. I am on my way to meet up with a buddy, and this is my buddy that rides Sportsters, and he found some other people who ride Sportsters on, uh, what app is that, Tonic. I think that's where he finds the majority of his riding buddies. So hopefully this is going to be a Sportster ride, that'd be sick. So we're going to meet up with them and head up the mountain. And I've got to book it because I have to work later. <laughs> So let's uh, squeeze in a ride. I felt bad. I've turned down every ride he's invited me to for the past like two months, maybe more. I think the last time I rode with him was that last video we made with him. I'm already running late, so let's get there. Maybe get some food and then get up the mountain. <laughs> Exit now. Okay. Hey, I recognize this exit. B -b -b buses now they ain't got nobody to drive the buses a ton of uh, bus drivers quit they just left because of uh, like force you know whatever's going on right now you can figure that out yourself apparently the schools are saying hey uber your kid to school and we'll pay you back that's nuts that's nuts who's gonna put their kid like a young child in an Uber to get to school. That's, oh, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't trust that. That's crazy. Anyways, that's besides the point. Beside the point? Besides the point? I guess it is beside the point. Anyways, we're almost there. And I'm only 10 minutes late. Which I'll be more late by the time I get there. And honestly, I should probably stop and get gas. Where is this place? Oh, there it is. Oh, right. Oh, this is the little rootin' tootin' place I saw earlier. Nice. Looks like we've only got two of us here so far. Got a Kawasaki this time, huh? I've never seen that bike. Or if I have, I don't know what it is. That cafe fairing. What's up? How's it going? All right, I guess we'll wait for the other boys. That's a girl's bike, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, literally this time. <laughs>
At the breaking off point here. Of course, my mic wasn't plugged in for the entire ride up. Nice meeting some new people, getting a ride in finally. Ugh. Haven't been able to meet up with these guys. My schedule is like complete opposite of theirs. They meet the weekend I work, and of course, I've got to work again. Later, boys. All right, let's go. Bit of a late start to this one, so we didn't get too much recorded. And of course, my mic wasn't plugged in. This stupid GoPro adapter, man. So I didn't get the audio coming up, but that's all right. We got some views, just a nice cruise. Man, I'm just so glad I started riding that I that I found that one Facebook post that just got me started on the whole thing. It was just somebody's post of the bike they built up, starting from an older, I think it was like a Suzuki. It wasn't even a Harley. They just took the old bike, made it their own, put a bunch of custom fabricated parts on there. And that just seemed so appealing to me at the time. Like, I don't know, maybe I just wasn't in the right place, but as soon as I saw that, I was like, man, that's what I want to do. I want something small that I can work on, that I can do whatever the hell I want to. And I haven't regretted a single minute since getting my bike and since starting my YouTube channel. It's been about one year now. I think I just passed the one year mark of doing YouTube at the end of August. And it's been awesome. It was the best time of my life so far. I get to come out and ride these awesome roads. Like, look at all that. Jeez. These awesome roads that are just so close to me. Like, I can hit these roads and go to work. How awesome. I'm so lucky. I love it. And I get to meet all, all these new people. The guy I bought the bars off of is the, uh, the main guy of these uh, rides here. He's found a lot of these guys up on um, up on that Taunted app. He set up a pretty good group, and a lot of them are sportsters, and it's awesome. I love finding other people who ride sportsters, especially 883s, because uh, my other riding group, I'm the only sportster usually. Like 99% of the time, I'm the only sportster, and I'm the only 883 for sure. So I just feel so fortunate to have met so many cool people and be able to go on these rides and go to these events and just meet new people and experience new things and, and just dive into this culture that I just love, man. I love going to these shows and meeting new people, meeting vendors, going to shops, meeting the people that I see who uh, make all these products I see online because I'm so lucky to live in Southern California and it, it's like a mecca for motorcycles, besides Sturgis, I'd say. But we have so many manufacturers out here and so many top names in the Harley world. Like, I, I never even knew. I mean, I grew up a block away from where they started doing the SoCal Cycle Swap, and I had no idea. I, I wasn't interested in motorcycles at all, and my ex-wife was not. <laughs> not cool with me riding motorcycles but yeah notice that word x so i realized i could do whatever i want and i realized motorcycles are fucking cool i want to ride a motorcycle i want to build my motorcycle i want to see places and that's one of the best freaking things just seeing new places places you've even been before but you see them in a whole different new light when you're on two wheels out in the open air sense of freedom you get the confidence build you get. There's nothing else like it. it. Kind of forces you to push yourself. To be better, be more responsible. To grow. And that's what I'm enjoying right now with my YouTube. I'm growing and I'm enjoying that. I'm so thankful for it. I love it. I'm, I'm spoiled and I love it. I don't want to take it for granted. I mean, look at these views. Look at these mountains. This is about 45 minutes from where I live. And hopefully by now, you're seeing more videos from me because I have been terrible with my upload consistency. And I want to be better about it. I want to get out more, do more things, do more stuff. I've still been a little too inside my shell and I need to, I really need to start getting out there doing more building more but hopefully by now 
you've seen me better with my consistency on my videos because I, I just put up what is it uh the born free video that just went live today and i'm i need to get on it i want to do one a week at least i mean i'm not the best editor <laughs> I am so slow at it, I wish I knew how to go faster, but I'm just the slowest editor. So I'm putting effort into getting these things out and using my time wisely. Cutting out all the crap that I don't need in my life. And just doing what I like, doing what I love here. Bringing you people some content. But I wanted to give a big thank you to everybody who's supporting me, everybody who's checking out my content, leaving likes and comments. I know I have a couple big supporters out there and I, I really appreciate it. It uh, definitely helps me to keep going and, and bring better content and improve this channel and keep it going. But yeah, stick around. I've got some things in the work. I'm planning a big job to Georgia here. She is getting a major improvement. And uh, yeah, you will definitely want to tune in for that. But that's about gonna do it for this episode, guys. I have been Zaza Ride. Thanks for coming to check out my video. Thank you to all my supporters. Thank you for subscribing, liking the video. Please do, it really helps the channel. So if you like the video, give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe, click the little bell on. You'll see me uploading more often, I promise. I'm gonna be better, I'm gonna be better. But I will catch you guys in the next video coming soon. And until then, Y'all right safe now you're here.